This is John from Prop and Scenery Lights LLC. Today we're looking at some of our components used in a flame projection reflector. This reflector uses our ember orange bulbs, our eel sockets, and our FFC fast flicker controls. The reflector itself is a square foot of acrylic safety mirror and it's a quarter inch thick and we'll show you a few details on the geometry of this reflector to make our reflector, we took our quarter inch thick sheet of mirror acrylic and we put on a table saw and we cut through the acrylic about 50% of the way with about a 16th inch wide blade, two inches in. Then from that, another point was three inches in, we cut down to about a 50% depth through the acrylic. Those are the points where you would use a hot wire bender, which would be a preferred method, or you could use a heat gun to heat the plastic and bend it over. So you come up with this geometry that you're able to sit on a flat surface and bolt down. So this is all made from a quarter inch thick piece of what you would call a safety mirror, acrylic mirror. We're looking at an optical ray trace software. This is a free online software. We'll put a link to it in the video description, but basically we created our mirror geometry in here. I have a two inch segment on the bottom, a 90 degree three inch segment, then the point where the re remainder of the acrylic is bent. So this upper piece, you can articulate it and see how you can steer the the rays or the light at different angles. For the design that the mirror is formed at in the video, basically I lined the top of the plastic with the bottom of the plastic here. It gives us roughly somewhere about a 65 degree beam, beam angle. Since the bulbs emit on both sides, we have this ray model that um, projects down and up. You can see the light hits down here, comes up, hits the reflector and out. So it's a very simple geometry. So in this type of software, you can move these mirror segments around. So if basically, if you wanted a, um, a lower angle, you can see that you would tilt your plastic over. We also see there's unneeded plastic at the top, so you can shorten your mirror package up. Just for the ease of construction, we took the square foot piece of acrylic, put it on a table saw and cut 50% through the quarter inch material at two inches, then Past that at three inches, a, another slit down through the plastic. So those are our points where we bend with either a heat gun or a hot wire acrylic bender. It's very simple to do. Then where the bulb sockets mount, we drilled seven sixteenths holes that the um, eel sockets are inserted into. It's a very easy geometry to do. In the software, you can build your mirror segments and you have different protractors and a ruler that we're using. As I mentioned, we'll put a link to it in the video description. Thank you for watching today and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and look under the description for the various mentioned links on materials and the software. Thank you.